inside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. San Diego, Big Daddy. to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Kid Dynamite's unable to land that shot clean. Well played, straight right hand. Basic but beautiful, jab right hand. Now he brings the left hand upstairs. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. He scored well after being hit himself. Kid Dynamite's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. And a right hand lands flush. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way, not these guys, straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both gonna have headaches, but we're gonna have a special one on our hands. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. What a nice combo by Kid Dynamite. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. That right hand serving well. Good combination to the head. End of the round here, and you can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like other sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect the guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. Here we go. Round two is underway. to show you his blocking ability. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. There's a nice left hand able to get in. <gasps> Combo lands to the head. <laughs> what a 
What a sharp, piercing hook by Kid Dynamite. Targeting that one, two. Carries that punch intended for the head. Watch the hook. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Kid Dynamite. End of the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. It is to create more count. Okay? Slip the punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then to the head. And round number three is underway. A crushing power shot after blocking his opponent. A good showcase of power by Kid Dynamite. Yeah, now we gotta see if he can put them together because his opponent has shown a sturdy chin. To the head he goes with a left hand. Kid Dynamite's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. See, not just one jab, he throws that second one right behind it. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Goes up top with a right hand. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And that's the end of round three. Leaving yourself open to cover up. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. Kid Dynamite's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight, but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Doing very nicely, staying way out of range of danger and utilizing his jab. And usually he's a guy, if we were talking about bad boys, a guy likes to be in the paint, hit some layups, do a little dunking. Hey, he's got a jump shot. And yet another right hand land. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. On the mark with a straight left hand. Good looking two punch combination there. opponent able to land a sharp counter punch more than one punch downstairs that can be damaging 
Kid Dynamite's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. A good biting, snapping shot by Kid Dynamite. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Not able to land the headshot. Kid Dynamite's landed a good, solid combination. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. You are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. been a closely contested fight one of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in comes with the right Great classic combination. Kid Dynamite's doing really well on the outside, utilizing his jab. Yeah, Halfway into round number five here. Good block. Clean shot with the right. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Here in these later rounds, you can start to see a trend, and one is developing. He cannot get away from that left hand. Now listen, when you throw your punches, it's not enough just to chuck them out there. You gotta throw them from the right distance. He's throwing them from a little too close, where he's vulnerable, as you said, to that left hand. Snapping hook by Kid Dynamite. More than one, and it's just what he wants. And that's the end of round five. Kid Dynamite's cleverness has really shown up here tonight. He's been just outsmarting his opponent, hitting these headshots, doing it from range. If this is to turn around towards the end of this fight, how will it happen? Well, what he has to do is opponent has to start timing his jab a little bit. You know, there's two ways to take away your opponent's jab if it's controlling range. One is with your own jab, the other is with the right hand. Start chucking right hands over. Make him a little afraid of using that jab. Now, you're not winning this fight, right? You're not winning. He's beating. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Scored well with that straight left. Hit Dynamite's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Oh, 
needed. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Throws a counter punch there. A stabbing right hand by Kid Dynamite. There you go. Scored well with the hook. Kid Dynamite's making for a trainer's dream right now. Picking his shots, Teddy. Selecting when, where, and being very accurate. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharpshooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Left and right, left and right. A barrage of punches now. Hit Dynamite's left now getting into the mix. Good, solid shot returning fire after being hit. A well-placed left hand up top. Kid Dynamite's doing really well on the outside. And that's the end of round six. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor's going to stop this, and he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Okay, listen. When he misses with a punch, how do you know? Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Targeting that overhand left. Able to land with the right. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Concern right now is protecting that cut. What should he be doing defensively? Well, right now the problem is the cut's above his eyes, so he's running into his eye a little bit. I know this is hard, but he's got to stop pouring at it. I know it's distracting, but stop pouring at it. Keep your hands in front and worry about the punches coming at you, not the blood that's flowing. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Kid Dynamite's able to avoid that punch. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Kid Dynamite's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. At the halfway point of round seven. Well off the mark by Kid Dynamite. Again to the melon. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Locks that belt line well. Right back to the work up top. Looking good. Kid Dynamite's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Gets him with the right hand. Kid Dynamite's combination punching is working well here. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. And that's the end of round seven. You're losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. It's almost done. You had him that round. You're in control. Let's take time to look at Teddy's scorecard. Through seven rounds, you can see the kid dynamite's up. But will it stay that way? Only a few rounds to go. Missed targeted. Blocks away that headshot. That's an impactful right hand by Kid Dynamite. 
Kid Dynamite scoring very well with the uppercut. What could his opponent be doing to defend against it better? Well, if he sees that hand drop a little bit, instead of the shoulder tipping, if you drop that hand to throw the uppercut, there could be an opening, and he should look for that with the hook. Counter right back. That hand drops, bang, beat him to the mark with the hook. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wish. The old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Little head knocking with that right hand. Good looking counter punch. Oh, a nice two punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Good shot to the head with that right hand. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. A solid true uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Well targeted two punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's left landing well. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, he's got to beat the count of 10 here. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round eight. Kid Dynamite's corner beaming right now. That was the round they wanted. You score a knockdown, you have momentum. That's one of the questions that will be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there and be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning. Oh. He didn't see that left hand. And it, big, big shot comes crashing home. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. Good defense, just covering up down low. Accurate with a straight left. Well, you can tell that this cut is now a major problem. If that cut gets any worse, I think this fight's coming to an end. Well, that's exactly what the doctor would look at if the referee brings him up where the cut is. It's not really as far as whether or not it's bleeding a lot or whether or not to us it looks like a terrible cut. It's where it's placed. If it's in a place where it can do permanent damage, the doctor will stop this fight. Good looking two punch combo by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. with that headshot. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Just ate a Hold big on, uppercut. Man. He's in bad. Oh, and there you go. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick.
hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Okay now, okay, you're good, you're good. Deep breath now. No, you're leaving yourself open now. You're throwing your punches wide, so keep tight. Keep tight. Feel good? Come on, you gotta give me one more round, right? It is the final round. Here they go. Blocks that punch. Hit Dynamite's right hand, did a nice job that time. That was, what a big shot. Wow, he goes down again. This is going to be for the elevator fight. Up and down all night. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Gets rid of that effort. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. I think everybody's impressed by the work he continues to do here. Solid. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. The fight is over. Kid Dynamite's corner is already celebrating. Ladies His opponent unable to beat the count. I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.